everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation. So let's get going. Problem solve d cube minus d into y equals to x. So firstly, let's find order and degree of the given differential equation. Here, identify the highest derivative. d cube is the highest derivative, right? So 3 will be our order. And highest power of the highest derivative is a degree degree is 1. I'll just write the given differential equation as d cube y minus dy equals to x. We know that t is a differential operator. Then d square will be d by d square by dx square. And d cube will be d cube by dx cube. Now we can write d cube y as d cube y by dx cube minus write dy as dy by dx equals to x. Here d cube y by dx cube is the highest derivative so rod will be 3 and highest power of the highest derivative is a degree degree is 1. Now coming to the problem. Given differential equation d cube minus d into y equals to x which is in operator form f of d into y equals to q where f of d equals to d cube minus d and q equals to x. Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation which is given by y equals to yc plus yb. Here yc is a complementary function, yp is a particular integral. We'll find yc using the roots of the auxiliary equation of the homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation. Okay, simply by putting rhs to 0, we'll get f of d into y equals to 0, our homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation. And we'll find yp using 1 by f of d into q. Right? So let's start with yc. The auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to we have f of d d cube minus d right. So let's replace differential operator by m so that we'll get f of m equals to m q minus m. Now our auxiliary equation becomes m cube minus m equals to 0. Let's take m common from these two terms. We'll get m times m squared minus 1 equals to 0. And write this 1 as 1 square. And the terms under brackets looks like a square minus b square, right? So we can write a square minus b square as a plus b into a minus b. Now equate each factor to 0. We'll get m equals to 0, m plus 1 equals to 0, m minus 1 equals to 0. So m equals to 0 is 1 root. From m plus 1 equals to 0, we'll get m equals to minus 1. And from m minus, sorry, from m plus 1 equals to 0, we'll get m equals to minus 1. And from m minus 1 equals to 0, we'll get m equals to 1. So the roots are m equals to 0, minus 1 and 1, right? So we have three real and distinct roots. Therefore, m equals to minus 1, 0, 1 are the roots of our auxiliary equation, say f of m equals to 0, which are real and distinct or we can call them as real and different. We know that if three roots say m1, m2, m3 are real and distinct then yc looks like one constant into e power one root into x plus another constant into e power another root into x plus another constant into e power another root into x. Now our complementary function looks like
y is equal to 1 constant into e power 1 root into x plus another constant into e power another root into x plus another constant into e power another root into x. Right? Then yc will be c1 e power minus x plus c2 e power 0 into x is 0 plus c3 into e power 1 into x is x which is equal to c1 e power minus x plus c2 into we know that e power 0 is 1 so we'll get c2 into 1 is c2 plus c3 e power x therefore y is equal to c1 e power minus x plus c2 plus c3 e power x now let's find particular integral particular integral we'll find particular integral using 1 by f of d into q we have f of d d cube minus d and q as x right now take d common from the denominator we'll get d times d square minus 1 into x square we can split the denominator sorry we can split the fraction as 1 by d into 1 by d square minus 1 into x now let's find derivatives of x derivative of x is 1 d square of x is derivative of derivative of x just put the value of derivative of x here we have derivative of x 1 and we know that derivative of a constant with respect to x is 0 so d square of x is 0 likewise we'll get d cube of x 0 d power 4 of x is 0 and so on right for example i'll show you d cube of x we can write d cube of x as derivative of d square of x because we have the value of d square of x which is 0 and this comes as 0 as a constant then derivative of a constant is 0 right so derivative is from d square q power 4 becomes 0 or in general d power k of q equals to 0 for k equals to 2 3 4 and so on here q is nothing but x okay So we have only one derivative, derivative of x and the higher derivatives from d square d cube d power 4 becomes 0. Now if you notice in the second fraction, the denominator of second fraction we are having d square minus 1 which is in descending order right. So here we need to take the lowest degree term common from these two terms or just write the f of d in ascending order minus 1 plus d square right into x now take minus common for our convenience okay 1 minus d square into x right so already we have taken minus common which is nothing but we have taken minus 1 common from the two terms right which is nothing but we have taken the lowest degree term common from the two terms right so we can write this as some minus 1 into 1 by 1 minus d square into x which is equals to minus 1 by d 1 by d into minus 1 is minus 1 by d into 1 by 1 minus d square into x so this is of so the second fraction is of 1 by 1 minus x form we can write it as 1 minus x whole inverse and we can use expansion of binomial series expansion okay we are going to expand 1 minus d square whole inverse using binomial series expansion so our yp became we got yp 
minus 1 by d into, we can write 1 by 1 minus g square as 1 minus g square whole inverse into x. We know that binomial series expansion 1 minus x whole inverse is 1 plus x plus x square plus so on. Right. Then for x equals to d square, we'll get 1 minus d square whole inverse equals to 1 plus d square plus d square whole square plus d square whole cube plus so on. Right. Which is equals to 1 plus d square plus d square whole square is 2 2 is a 4 plus d bar 2 3 is a 6 plus so on. And we know that derivatives from d square of x, d cube of x, d power of 4x will be 0, right? So, we can neglect higher powers from here. Because we are going to get d square of x0, d power 4 of x0, d power 6 of x0 and so on. But we can just write 1, right? For namesake, let's write the series as it is and see what happens in y, okay? yp becomes minus 1 by d into expansion of 1 minus d square is 1 plus d square plus d square whole square plus d square whole cube plus so on into x right which is equal to minus 1 by d into 1 plus d square plus d power 4 plus d power 6 plus so on into x so this becomes minus 1 by d into 1 into x is x plus d square of x. Let's see what happens if we write all the terms. Okay, because this is a small problem. So, it will be easy to write all the terms. Okay, it's okay. We can write d power 4 of x plus d power 6 of x plus so on. We know that all the higher powers, I mean derivatives of q, d power k of q is 0 for k equals to 2, 3, 4 and so on is 0. Right? Let's mention it here. Since d power k of q is 0 for k equals to 2, 3 and so on. So, we can neglect d square of x d cube of x and so on. Okay. Then yp becomes minus 1 by d into x plus we know that d square of x is 0 d power 4 of x is 0 0 plus so on. Right. Which is equals to minus 1 by d into x plus 0. Right. We know that the terms from here get the value 0. So, we can just write x plus 0 simply. Z equals to minus 1 by d into x. Z equals to minus or 1 by d into x. Here, 1 by d is nothing but integral operator. So, we need to find integration of x. Which is equal to minus x square by 2. Therefore, yp equals to minus x square by 2 or we can just write it as minus 1 by 2 into x square. We got yc and yp so let's write the general solution. The general solution is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Then y equals to we have yc c1 equal minus x plus c2 plus c3 power x plus yp minus 1 by 2 into x square. Or 
y equals to c1 plus c2 equal minus x plus c3 equal x minus 1 by 2 into x squared. Nothing. If you just replace m1 and m2 and m3 in, in this format, okay, here comes e power 0 x and here e power minus 1 into x, e power 1 into x. If you choose first root as 0, second root as minus 1 and third root as 1, we'll get like this. Let's complete the problem. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equations in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.